What is going on you lot? Midi here. There was one video that I wanted to do with Hitchhiker to train all of you guys how to be the ultimate trapper in the game. I wanted to go over my trap placement with him. And I feel like trapping with Hitchhiker comes into like three different categories. The first one's going to be the super obvious spot. So, you know, doorways behind certain doors where they kind of work on lower skilled players. The second one's going to be the more super sneaky spots. The kind of traps where you can't actually avoid them. For example, you guys know probably the most obvious one. That's going to be Slaughterhouse. You go through the gap and you're guaranteed to walk into this trap. Putting them in areas where there's a lot of foliage where it actually does catch out a lot of sweaty players and i guess the third kind of trap placement that i've seen which is it actually catches me out sometimes people put them in random spots like just the most randomest place you'd ever think of and who could forget the god tier trap placement of family house as soon as they jump out that window they're guaranteed to walk into it now i don't want to go into his build too much here because throughout all of the videos when i was recording them all i was using completely different builds sometimes i was using wireframe other times i'm using venom with dinner bell for his abilities i put the increased escape difficulty to 19 percent i then put in the increase the damage inflicted on a victim when snared by 33 percent and then any victim caught in a trap continues to take damage over a short period of time so you get that extra bleed damage there i know some of you do go for the increase of damage then you increase the escape difficulty so it gives other family members a chance to actually go over to them depends on the play style i want to jump into a game i want to show you where i put my traps let's do the world tour let's get into a game this is pretty much going to be an all 99 game damn boys it's gonna be real sweaty hope you've got your row on deodorant ready right so i do have this little vial and perk on i'm not sure if this stacks with the damage because you know when you've got big swings it says your attack damage and then you've got like the vile poke where it says your damage so does that count towards your trap damage sissy's poison damage i don't know now you should always look where granddad is and kind of get you know he's not really in the best area right now i like it when he spawns in his house so if he spawns in a house i normally put that on lockdown with traps but because he spawned over there in a bit of a weird area it's like mm, i don't know can't really put too many good traps down okay my first little sneaky trap is normally right here. A lot of people do run through this door. There we go. Actually does catch out good players. Because if the granddad's right there... Oh, my add-on. I don't know what. I'm going to put one right. I'm going to put one here. Just in the middle of the floor. It's a little bit random, but people do walk into this one. There we go. Okay, hopefully everyone takes a little bit of time with this. Now, because we don't have a cook on a team, I'm thinking if I want to put a trap right here in the middle. You know what I mean? I feel like it's guaranteed that someone's going to walk into this. Never mind, they're already here. <laughs> yeah, they're already through, mate. Yeah, they've already left. That's how long you get with the game. That's crazy. Okay, we've got to move that trap then. Gonna put one right here. That's what I was saying, though. You don't have a cook on this map. That's what happens. Straight away. There we go. Okay, that one was behind the door, which is a little bit of a sneaky spot, which is nice. He's gonna try and heal up here. He knows. He's gonna take a bit of damage here. And it goes for the knockdown. That's fine. Okay. Reset the trap. They're already pretty much out at this point. There we go. Get the one little whack on her. Okay, let her come over. It's Leland out. What's she doing here? Nice. Oh, that was in the um, the little walkway there. Boom. Left face got her. Nice. See? That one gets the sweats, mate. Where did I go? I should jump down there. Okay. Nice. Oh, was that the same one behind the door? I think it was. That's such a good trap, man. <laughs> Every time. All right. I mean, even though one of them did rush out really quickly, I thought it'd be the Connie, but it won't. Still got a bit of time here. All right. That's really good. Obviously, that's why I have dinner bell on, because I'm in Salaku. Okay, no, that wasn't that one behind the door. That was the one here. Just completely random one, and a lot of people don't expect it. Even level 99s. That's so why it's good. So far, so good, though. Okay. So, is that Dash Julie over there? Yeah. 
Oh, she's at. Oh. <laughs> you okay, Julie? What are you doing there, Julie? God! You, le you left. I knew you'd be over there, you little. That is quite funny, actually. That is quite a good little distraction because it looks like they're just over here, but they're not. That's fucking hilarious. And I obviously know that she's got bomb squad on, so if I put my trap on the other side of that door, she's just going to get rid of it. Oh, okay. And there she is. Try and cut her off here. Oh, she's going down. Nice. I mean, at this point, we could have... Oh, actually. She might be slamming doors and stuff. She's probably going to disarm my trap, I think. She's definitely just got rid of that trap there. Yeah, see? That's exactly why I didn't put it on the other side of that door. I'm going to shoo off the Julie. They should be fine with Anna. I can't imagine she's going to do much here. Let's trap this back out. And I'm just going to chase Julie out. Because she's doing a little bit of trolling, isn't she? Where are you? You found your little hiding spot down here, didn't you? Where are you, Julie? Oh, you are absolutely cooched up in one of these bushes. Wait. <laughs> Where are you? You can't be this much of a distraction, I swear to God. Where the fuck have you hid? Oh, there, okay. Is this going to be a just leave moment? Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. No! Oh, my God. You. I reckon she had no cell on there. I reckon she was one it. Oh, well. I just wanted to show her away just in case, I don't know, Anna magically goes over there. I mean, look, for all of them being level 99, that's not a bad game to showcase it. But I'm going to say Julie got through them doors so quickly. Jesus. All right, lads, let's do it. Family house. Right. To get the trap window, you need to put them in between these two little bushes here. Now, I know it is quite hard. It takes a little bit of practice to do this. You just have to line it between that. It's harder to see on night time, I know. You always got to put the trap there, regardless what map it is. Someone is more or less of the time going to jump out window. Now, the second trap I like to put right here because not only is it in foliage, but every time they go through that little gap, which a lot of the time they do, the back exit, it's the safest basement exit to go to. They'll walk right into that bag. Yeah, prime that all nice and ready for granddad. Don't worry. Yeah, we leave that right there. Now, the last one. Mm, the last one could either go... I mean, look. We've got quite a good fuse spawn point here. So always latch that door. Now, I could put a trap, like, randomly here. There's a spot you could put it. Obviously, look, if you put it right under there, a lot of the time they've always got bomb squad on. You could put it in doorways. You could put it right here. You could put it in between this little gap here. This actually does catch them a lot of the time. So we'll put it here for now. There we go. Someone went right into the trap there. Which was that? Oh, that was in the back exit there. There you go. Told you. A lot of people don't expect it. We've got two for one as well. Ooh, two for one special. Come on. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, you're going to be bling. Come on, Get down there. There's Connie. Right, she's in. Uh, nice. She actually bled out there. Come on. Ooh. Yep, door latched. That's a perfect example why you latch that door every single time. You're going to trap him in here. Come on, if we can get Connie out here. Might use well, I think. Yep. I'll take that. Let's go. Get down there. Very nice. Now, you can either reset this trap. Okay, she went down as well. That's perfect. So, you can either reset the trap or collect it. I mean, if it's a squad of players... And then one of them already walks into the trap. They're probably going to alert everyone else, you know, that there's a trap there. Like, do, do you know what I mean? Don't think I can't see you in these bushes. That's it. Waste your bone after me. Oh, come on, left face. Get over here. Ooh, mate. Okay. Go on, left face. Go on, left face. Okay, maybe not. That's beautiful. You want to close me out, do ya? Do you know what? With how I play Hitchhiker, a lot of the time I don't like chasing him in basement. I'm going to make the exception. Oh, mate. I thought I could cut her off. Wait, was that enough? No, that was Connie. Okay. Oh. oh, guys, what are you all doing? There's a party down here, isn't there? Great party down here. Can't. Yeah. 
I really want to get the Connie. I'll be honest with you. I would love to get her. Let's see. Where are you going, Connie? you got to understand that your ability is too overpowered. You can't be it. Right, she just sent me on an absolute loop there. Okay. I'm going to sit here. Oh, another one went into trap. Lovely. Come on, boys. I'll let them finish it out. That's the same trap on the back exit. I think Julie walked into that twice. See, that's what I'm saying. A lot of the time. Oh, we got another trap as well, I think. Yep, outside. Two for one. Oh, wait. No, no. Sorry. That was the one in the gap there. Got confused. There we go. Come on. So Julie walked into two traps there, mate. You ain't... You're not surviving the damage! Or was it Anna? Leatherface is blundering. Wait. No, you got... The, look, listen, mate. You got the dupes. I'll give it to you. You got the dupes. But sooner or later, you bleed out. Okay. So, yeah, that was the one that was in the gap. Kind of near the blue door. Alright, we good. Let Leatherface come back in. There we go. That player? No, that was Sonny. What? Hey, oh, Sonny. What are you doing? I mean, I would love to reset my trap right now. Oh, we might walk into it, maybe. No. Straight to basement. Take it, mate. Let him go back to basement. Waste more time. It's already gone, mate. All right. Now we need to reset that trap there. I do really like positioning my trap like this. Maybe she see the trap there. A lot of the time, I always double check this. It cooks. Okay, no. Mm, no. I don't want to waste the time. Both of them traps are in really good spots. They've not touched a lock on a blue door. They've got to go fuse, man. That's it. Go on, man, but there's nothing wrong with repositioning your traps sometimes. If you've got the time and a few victims have been deleted out of the game, and if obviously a few of them have gone down to the world of resetting basement, you've got time here. You've got time here to, you know, reposition. Think about what you're doing. Put the trap down. There we go. It is a little bit of an obvious trap. It isn't a doorway. If any of them have bomb squad on, you know, a lot of good players just instantly get rid of the trap. outside Outside where? Outside where, French man? I don't know. Oh, outside here. Oh, no. I just moved my chat there as well. Who is he cooked? Oh, no, no, got to Not to be You just said if she was out. You French man. You don't tell. Oh, she's still in. Well, look, Sonny's still in basement right now. Oh, no, they're both in basement. What's he talking about? Crazy French man. Where is she, man? Connie was literally there to my left. No, okay. I know that she was there. I was just thinking of getting a sunny instead. Slipped up a little bit there. No, it sounds crazy, man, but they are quick. Would make sense that she'd just done a 180 and come back up here again. Unfortunately, I moved my trap. See, look, Connie probably has her ability now, so she could go through that side door and actually get out. Gonna double check fuse box really quickly. That right, fuse is good. Making sure that door's always latched. If you're leather face, never destroy that door, man. If fuse is spawned there and that door's latched, you know, don't get rid of it. Gonna reposition this trap here. Sonny's on door. Okay, Sonny. Come on. You're not getting through the locks. Oh, no. I just moved my trap. I just moved it. I keep doing that, mate. Ooh, mate. He'd have no HP there. Okay. He just straight up DC. Oh, wait. Let me go get my kill, man. Like, who does he think he is? Thinking I can't get my kill. Come on, mate. Give, you, know, you know what I mean? Nah. He must have had absolutely no HP there. And we get the black screen. You've got to be really careful about doing these executions kind of near the walls. You get stuck in the floor. Especially a leather face you do. Closing up. Okay. Still holding on to my trap here because I'm curious where Connie's going to move to. It's got to be the side door. Wait. Oh. Okay, maybe not. Okay. 
You want to play like this, Connie? We can play like this. You can go straight back down the basement again. I don't mind. Yeah, like, Leatherface should be getting ready. Actually, I shouldn't have bit her there. That was my fault. If Leatherface is charging up, let him get the hit first. If you start losing victims really early on in Family House, you know, it's pretty much GG at that point. You really need a full squad of people to be doing all different things at once. Someone jumping out the window. Someone going for the fuse box. You know, you've got to be doing everything. Could come open. going to probably feed him. Get him up to five here. Okay, she's dead. Nice. Oh, good enough. I'll take that. I kind of repositioned my traps a lot there when I could have just kept them where they were. Depends on certain maps. You do have to change them up. Oh, not bad, though. All right, let's go. We've got Slaughterhouse. Okay. I can imagine this is the kind of map that a lot of family members hate playing. But you can put some sneaky traps down on this map. Obviously, it depends what kind of players you're coming up against. If you're coming up against like all level 70s, 80s, and 90s, you've got to be a bit smart with your traps. If you're coming against little noobs, yeah, you put them wherever you want. And Julie just got taken out straight away or DC'd. I don't know. I mean, we always knew that was going to happen, didn't we? Every single game. I did know what I've noticed lately with the game, with the matchmaking especially. Every time that I go into a game with family, normally one in three games, someone DCs. Some just straight away cancels out the game. Like, a killer will just quit for no reason. But I do kind of understand it because my game has crashed sometimes on Xbox. So, I don't know. But it has been weird. Like, it's just, I don't know. Someone just DCs for no reason and that. All right. The first little sneaky trap. This gets really good players out normally. Because a lot of them, they're not going to go down that normal route. They're always going to take these little gaps to sort of sneak past. So, of course, if they go through that gap, they kind of get screwed over there, which is good. Right, the old classic trap, and the fuse box is spawned right here. If the fuse box spawns there, regardless, you always want to trap here. It's normally really good. Right, there we go. The old reliable, so if they go through that little gap there, they're guaranteed to walk into that, which is nice. I'm going to feed him just because I want that level 1 granddad perk up. The other two perks are pretty lame, but nobody escapes hell. Really good. Does delay a little bit of time with certain people. As that baldy. Good. Now, this very last trap that I like to put normally catches good players out. It is in a foliage. You want to get it right between this gap. Center it as much as you can. And you've got a really high chance for them to actually walk into this. A lot of people say it's a bad trap. Yeah, it's a bad trap if you're playing bad players. But when you're playing good players that know how to sneak. Oh, Sonny, okay. Then, you know, that's what you got to do. Sonny might actually be quite an easy kill here. Yeah? He's going to have to be pushed straight into the basement. Oh, no, he ain't. Might need Leatherface to return upstairs. I'm trying to dupe him out here. Ooh, <laughs> there we go. Wow, straight into the old reliable. They don't expect it. Come on, Leatherface. Let him get the free kill there. Guaranteed the hit. Reset the trap. That's such a good trap. That's what you want to do sometimes. Sometimes it ain't about you getting the kill. You're lining it up so the entire team can win. But I know a lot of you guys do like putting your traps in doorways. I mean, I feel like whenever I'm playing someone that's like over level 80, they're guaranteed to have bomb squad. They roughly know where your traps are. Sometimes why you can't put them in doorways. It's only beneficial if they're in chase. All right, Leland's here. Leland's running. Okay, all right, Leatherface, you've got to work with me here. You need to cut him off, right? Unless he's got barge. Shuts that around there. Leatherface going front. To stand in way. Well, he might go straight into the trap there. Ooh, he would have walked into the trap for sure. Well, that's him out anyway. See? It's not a bad trap, man. Didn't we put one there? Oh, they've gone through doors here. Didn't walk into the trap, though. Oh, no, they did. Wait, wait, wait. What trap is it? Oh, there you go. Beautiful. There you go. That's Sunny in a nutshell, mate. Go on, let left face take the kill. Go on. Have it. There you go. Sometimes that's what happens, mate. I feel like being nice, you know, just giving him the kill. It's quite hard sometimes to get these little hook kills for that achievement. Come on, Leatherface, bring him over. Hopefully he won't DC. Every time I've done this, and it's the last person, they normally DC. Now, I do actually know, guys, you can stun Leatherface, by the way. So if there was another victim that came up and backstabbed him, he would drop Sunny. Or if it was a door slam. Ah, oh, there we go. He's not DCing, so congrats, Leatherface. You get the kill. Light him up. Okay, we're all here. Cook's listening out. Cook's having a nice little listen there. Yeah, beautiful. There we go. 
That's my slaughterhouse traps anyway. I do change them up in certain games though. Not bad at all, boys. That's pretty much the video, guys. I hope you actually learned something with the hitchhiker trap placements. If there are any hitchhiker mains out there and you made it to the end of the video, I just want you to comment, I'm the best. The best. See you boys later.